Hi guys. Hi. Hi so, Julian. Such a pleasure to sit here with you. Always. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome Olivia, welcome Lucy. Thank you. We're here at a screening of The Twelve, the mm -hmm. documentary the two of you co-created as Le Ciel Foundation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's such a pleasure. I've seen the movie a couple times now and I, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to seeing it again tonight. <coughs> Great. Yeah, it's those kinds of movies where you can see it over and over again. We've seen it, what, 50 times, oh maybe? God, maybe? Maybe Maybe even more. St yeah. I'm still learning things every time I see it. And last time, at the last screening, I was not recognizing shots. Really? Like, was this shot there before? Okay. Yeah, after 50 <laughs> times. You just have so. to watch another 50 times. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you get it. So yeah. there are surprise moments, even though you've made the movie. Yeah. Yes. And there's still some learning in it. That, yeah. That's, that's a, a teaser to, yeah. to watch it for everyone when it comes out. Yeah, it's also a type of film depending on what mood you're in, so you really always pick up different sentences and different types of, of wisdom and knowledge, depending what you're kind of working on right now, or what you go through yourself, or, or um, what mood you're in, so it's always, always amazing to watch each time, even for us. So give us a little bit of um, a teaser to the movie. It's called The Twelve, and it's about ancestral wisdom and elders from 12 different cultures coming together and you guys were a fundamental part of um, facilitating that. Mm -hmm. is that. Is that fair to say? Us guys, Le Ciel Foundation, yes, because Le Ciel is an entity with a, a group that is very fusional, so there's not really uh, um, any individuals in it, it's more of a, a group dynamic. But the, the movie is about uh, acknowledging what these 12 elders did for humanity. They came together, they flew all across the world to actually meet at the UN, and they did a ritual mm -hmm. Um, to help humanity uh, shift paradigms and, and uh, access a better future. So we needed to acknowledge that. And wow. then the, the, the very big part of the, of the movie is about the, the messages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really about the, the messages of all these 12 elders and, and giving them a voice. So right from the beginning, we knew it, we only want these, these 12 speaking and not have a, an outside narrator or, or anyone outside being in the film. It's really a film for them and and through them and we're basically just the as filmmakers the vehicle to to let them speak their truth and their messages wow so you're following the mission at the time that was in 2017 correct we started 2016 uh in the fall of 2016 and finished in november 2017 so. when the actual assemblage happened at the united nations mm -hmm. so you follow the actual project yet the movie shares the wisdom through each mm -hmm. of their traditions, through each of their words and, and the way they, they live and kind of describe the current state of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we followed four of them, how they traveled to the United States for the first time. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the two Bushmen who'd never even been to the to the capital of Botswana. So um, we even filmed them actually for a whole week, which is not in the film, but because they had to get their visas first for the United <laughs> Nations. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, for the you for the can US. see it in the movie, you can see him with his new passport. He's yeah, it's proud true. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we had to go to the Zoto first to get their visas and then that already was like mind-blowing for them and then obviously traveling to Johannesburg and then to, to New York experiencing everything for the first time so it was just really impressive to see how much joy they had and in, in, in experiencing everything you know they were just so curious mm -hmm. and, and so joyful and I think that's something we can learn from a lot as well like how they're just so present definitely it was a constant lesson because at the same time we were in London trying to uh, uh, you know, uh, settle the problems with the visas mm -hmm. because the, at the, until the very last moment we couldn't even, you know, be sure that they would be able to fly to New York. Oh, wow. Like two days before the, or three days before the council, <laughs> no Disney, yeah, Lucy was running around with Cece, uh, who was on the, on the, on the filming at, the, at that point, trying to get visas for them. Uh, so it was always a good lesson to see how you can always generate joy out of a, a pretty much any lesson you have in your life. Mm. Joy and simplicity. Mm. Those are those are some profound values. Mm. So without spoiling too much, when you speak about those wisdom traditions like the Botswanian Bushman or mm. the, the Kogis from Colombia, was it like bringing almost like an alien into our Western world? Is that fair to say? For certain, yes. Yeah. But the, the Twelve are so... Diverse. That uh, for the Japanese guy, for example, he lives in Tokyo, so he has not. A, he has no. And and that's his real skill. He he's able to maintain balance in such a city. Um, but yeah, for for some of them, the, the, the situation was totally alien. 
Yeah, very alien. I mean, even you know, even for us, if we start looking at the kind of world we have created, yeah. it's absolutely crazy sometimes just looking at the high buildings and, and the machine we've created and for the technology so for them it was like wow and I think what the I found very striking is what the Bushman said that we in the West are always in constant demand so we're always like waiting for phone call waiting for food waiting for bus waiting or just always wanting something mm -hmm. so and they're just always just present and being and yeah, pretty relaxed. And you see, the constant demand is also a constant frustration. Yeah, uh, which builds up and that they don't know about. So there are many reasons to watch the movie. <laughs> As I hear, getting these wisdom pieces from all twelve angles and the different integrations from different cultures is is, is one of them. In, in your own words, because Le Ciel is so much more than just this one movie. Um, what is emerging through showing this movie right now for Le Ciel Foundation and what are maybe the, the needs or next steps that, that you want to share? Well, we know what we would like, that something that a, an acknowledgement uh, of the, the value of, of the knowledge of these people, uh, if that could emerge and, and actually be recognized in our society, it would be great. And the fact is that these 12 elders, they are parts of traditions, but they don't really represent it. And so, which means that there are many uh, other people, uh, may, maybe not many, but that there are other people like them who are also filled with knowledge. And uh, mm -hmm. so that's the first thing, the acknowledging that these people uh, can be of great help to us and have concrete solutions in ways to live, to realign ourselves to uh, nature and to our true nature. Wow. And then the second part would be about um, the fact that uh, they they are all saying the same thing. All these mm -hmm. different cultures from around the world have a common message and that they've been uh, trying to help us or trying to extend a helping hand for years now and we're just starting to understand that uh, it, is, it is possible for us to trust them uh, because it's not been the case for the moment. This is super curious Olivier in the sense that what I hear you say is, it's not about our Western world going backwards into old times, but integrating this understanding of we are nature, and there are existent voices of wisdom of nature traditions that when we integrate them into our modern society, mm. surprises, positive surprises might, might await for us. Totally, yeah. Yeah, totally. I think if you, if you really want to change the system, you have to change within, and you have to actually recognize that we are all from nature and that we are all one, that we really come from the same source and we are all brothers and sisters in the end. And if you've understood that, then you start doing business differently, you start educating your children differently, you start doing everything differently. And that's how we can actually, from within, from the society itself, we can, we can create a shift. And that's what's so important right now, that it has to come from us. Yeah, it's just shifting a couple of principles. Uh, uh, and integrating them in our society, just like you're saying. And in the, the, the symposium that Luciel uh, has hosted last December is, is all about that, you know, with the help of uh, 144 amazing people uh, uh, that live all around the world, we're, tr we're trying to find uh, ways to not go back to the uh, Ice Age, but uh, actually move forward with what we have and just, you know, implement from within sufficient change in terms of principles that things can evolve into something totally different and positive. Super powerful. I know you guys have a movie to show. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got we're excited a few about minutes that. with you here on, on, in our little studio. So yeah, um, thank you so much for giving me your time. Thank well, thank you, so you Julian. Much. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.